So, you want to know how to prank, and you know somebody that has an Xbox or PlayStation. Well, I got five easy pranks you can pull on just about anyone. Okay, everybody, for this prank, what you're going to need is a piece of paper, a pencil or pen, doesn't matter. I definitely wouldn't use a marker for this one, though. An X-Acto or razor knife, a pair of scissors, um, some glue. I would definitely recommend a glue stick or even double-sided tape. All I have is Gorilla Glue, so that's what I'm going to use. And then a milk cap. And um, last but not least, a disc. What you want to do after that is with your piece of paper, go on Google or something like that and search in the images. Um, for this, I search NBA 2K15 disc cover. And this is what showed up. All I did was print it out. It is the exact same size as the disc, as you can see right there. It fits perfectly on there. So that's the first step. You want to go ahead and print this out on a piece of paper. And um, after that, what we're going to do is go ahead and cut it out. So I'll do that in just a second. So up next, what you want to do is get your milk carton lid and put it directly in the center of your disc where the hole will be at. Place it down on the uh, cardboard or whatever right here and very, very lightly, as far in as you could get it, trace a circle all the way around until you have yourself a mark that you can cut out with the X-Acto knife. It should end up looking something similar to this. As you can see, it's very light, so you can't see it. That's how you want it to be. Don't use a marker or anything like that. You could definitely ruin the paper by doing that. So up next, we're going to get our X-Acto knife, and we are going to cut this whole entire cir inner circle out. As you can see, it is a pretty nice clean cut. I can obviously touch it up a little bit, which I will do before I put it on the actual disc. But there it is. You can throw this part out, and it should fit pretty nice right on the disc. And the shiny part should be showing up right here, which looks really, really good. All right, so the next step now is to glue this cover onto your actual disc. I actually found some different glue. I'm using Elmer's glue. I'm going to spread it on really, really light and make sure I get it all around the disc. But once again, make sure you do not get it on like the shiny parts or in the middle and especially not on the back or else you will ruin the disc and it will not work. So you don't want to do that. You have to be really careful where you get the glue. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start gluing this and make sure I get the cover on nice and snug. Okay, and now we are just going to let the disc dry for a few minutes and it should be good. Now after it's done, all we're going to do is go ahead and put it in a case and then put it with all the other video games so that when he or she goes to play their NBA 2K15 or whatever disc it is, they're going to be so confused whenever another disc is reading. This prank is so hilarious and they're going to be left so confused. All right, everybody, now we are on to prank number two, and this is the one that actually inspired me to make this whole entire video. Both of my friends uh, did this prank on each other, and it's a gamer tag prank. Before we get started, they both gave me per permission to use both their gamer tags in this video. Um, so that's just a warning for anyone that's going to say anything in the comments. But anyways, what you're going to do is put your gamer tag as call and then your friend's phone number preferably if they're on xbox or playstation whenever they go and join that uh party that you're in or whatever whenever they see their phone number they're gonna go crazy and um obviously this one is a bit messed up i'm not gonna lie but it is the most funny thing ever and then after you do that you want to go into a bunch of different lobbies um as you see here um my one friend's playing nba uh, you can go on to any game that you want to really that has lobbies and then my other friend uh, right here is going to be going on to uh, the Call of Duty lobby and um, each and every lobby uh, that he's in uh, is going to have a bunch of people that are going to see 
this gamer tag as well. So, um, and then eventually, obviously, somebody's gonna call it. Like I said, this one's a little bit more messed up, but it is the most funny thing ever, and this is the one that inspired me to make this video. But after going to a bunch of lobbies, something like this will probably happen. Okay, now for this next prank, what you're gonna need is some wrapping paper, tape, scissors, and an Xbox or PlayStation box. I myself have an Xbox One box because I have a leftover from whenever I bought my system. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that, but obviously it'll work for anything that you want. So let's jump right into the prank. Now the first part of this prank is to get something heavy that will probably weigh about the same as your system. You can get an older system, say a PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360, or even the PlayStation 1 or Xbox, the original one. Um, I myself am just going to use a, an album here that weighs about the same as an Xbox. You could fill it with books or whatever you want to, but this fits in here quite perfectly and it's going to make it out to look really, really good and feel like there's actually an Xbox in there. Now this part is optional, but if you want to, you can get a piece of paper or a sticky note or a card or whatever and put some uh, message on it and put it inside the box. I'm just going to do something simple. gotcha or something like that you can put their name on there or whatever you want to like I said it's optional and then you can just go ahead and put it inside the box so they can see it whenever they open it up now it's time to wrap up the present And there you go, there is your finished product. This is great for Christmas presents or birthday parties. And let me say, it works great on uh, younger kids and stuff. Obviously, you're gonna get a way better reaction uh, than if you did somebody that was older. So keep that in mind if you decide to do this prank on somebody in your family or one of your friends. But anyways, it should look something a little like this. Oh wow, a present with my name on it? Hmm. I wonder what it is. Let's open it up and see. No, you didn't. No, you did not. Oh my gosh. I've been wanting this for so long. Mom, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I gotta get this open right now so I can get playing. Oh, I wonder if I got any games with this. Oh, I'm so, so, so excited. Huh? What is this? What is this crap? Where's the Xbox at? Now we are moving on to the next prank, and this one's a classic. There's no way that I could have left this one out. I'm sure a lot of you have seen videos and stuff on YouTube of this. If not, go ahead and check this out. This one is also a gamer tag prank, but instead of making it somebody's phone number, we're going to set it up as one of the Xbox commands. I'll be setting mine up as Xbox turn off. Now you have to be a little bit creative while making these gamer tags since so many of them were used up. Um, you're going to have to um, add different stuff in it. As you can see, I'm putting the letter I in between each word. So Xbox I, which is like a space, then turn, I, and then off. So Xbox turn off, you can do Xbox snap party, Xbox snap game DVR, Xbox record that, anything like that. But anyways, you should get something that happens just like this. Oh, it's over here. For you. Really? Uh, really? Xbox, turn off! Get out of here! Get out of here, Xbox, turn off! Come on! Get out of here, man! Oh, no, 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 no! Okay, now this next prank is one of my favorites, and it's going to require you to download the Xbox One Smart Glass on your phone or tablet. Uh, whatever you have, I have my iPad here, 
And as far as the PlayStation app goes that you can download, I'm not sure um, exactly how it works. Uh, somebody can let me know um, if this prank is possible to pull on PlayStation, but I'm not entirely sure because I've never used it before. But anyways, you want to go ahead to the App Store, and then we're going to go ahead and search this Xbox Smart Glass on here. And there it is. It's the first one that shows up. It looks exactly like this right here. And then basically what this is going to do, you can connect it to your system um, on your account. It basically acts as a remote control. And um, what you can do with this is have stuff pop up on your Xbox screen while people are playing games, uh, which will uh, stop like the command and stuff on the controller and uh, mess up what they're doing. So let's try out the prank and see if it works on my friend. I think it will, and I think it's going to be pretty funny. What the hell? Is there something wrong with this controller? It's so annoying. Buckets. Frickin' buckets, baby. That's how we do it. First frickin' shot. Let's go! That wasn't even Bonnie right there. That was a straight snipe. Alright, let's play some B here. Alright, what the f on here? What the hell? What? <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker! I was wondering why I was doing so freaking well. And then you freaking trolled me, you mother. Okay, everybody, that will wrap up this top five pranks for Xbox or PlayStation. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoy making this video. Um, if you do decide to pull off any of these pranks, make sure you do them with caution. I am not responsible if anything goes wrong. Uh, so like I said, make sure you be careful while doing these pranks on your friends, family, whoever it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. There will be a link down in the description. And yeah, this is your boy. Peace out, guys. I'll see you guys next time.